he stuck out his tongue and rushed to cut a blow at Taehyun's neck just to satisfy his killing hobby. But Taehyun had no reason to stand still and wait for death, he used the stone skin to protect himself. You're such a fool, planning to strike a sword at the rock? Go die, Taehyun kicked straight into the face of the villain. Strangely, after being hit, he could still laugh, Cuckoo, you bastard, turns out you're an awakened one. That's right, and you're the villain Han Songdo. The madman who goes around killing people, using stealth skills, it's you, isn't it? Luckily, I met you here. Want to kill me? Come here, Taehyun waved his hand provocatively. So the two sides rushed into battle, one side using weapons to attack crazily, the other using stone skin to block each move. Han Songdo kept slashing all around, he used both hands to defeat his opponent. Every sword stroke he threw out, Taehyun used his stone skin to block. After a while, the villain sword also began to crack. Seeing this, Taehyun counterattacked, he used his stone fist to punch continuously into Han Songdo's face, causing him to retreat a bit to defend. Cuckoo, you're quite strong, no wonder you're so confident. Who would have known that this sword has no effect on you? I don't know how much you know about me, but you must be thinking you can beat me, because my attack has no effect on you, right? But kid, you should know that the world doesn't work the way people think. After saying that, the villain used his stealth skill, Taehyun couldn't see him anymore. Did he run away? But he should know that it won't change the fact that his attack is useless against me. Are you sure? Han Songdo suddenly appeared behind Taehyun, just like the way he used to ambush from behind others. He swung his sword at Taehyun's hand, piercing through the stone skin, causing blood to splatter. Taehyun was also startled by this, wasn't this stone skin very hard and could make his sword ineffective? Seeing Taehyun's face, Han Songdo was very pleased, Cuckoo, do you know how many awakened ones I've hunted? You guys are all delusional about your skills being invincible. Your weakness has been exposed, now you're just frustrated and want to run away, right? Well, I'll grant you a favor so you can die peacefully, I'll let you know this. That is, all skills have weaknesses. As he spoke, he slashed a few more times at Taehyun. It was then that Taehyun realized, who would have known that stone skin had such a flaw. This skill doesn't completely block attacks. Strong attacks will break the rock, and the broken part will be replaced with a weaker rock. So he had observed and targeted the weakness of this skill from the beginning. But as I thought, I'm sure I can still fight him, even if he's a B-level opponent because my physical skill is not just at D-level. Hey, scar-faced villain, let's end this test here, okay? Han Songdo didn't understand what Taehyun was saying. He thought Taehyun was driven to the edge and had gone mad. When Taehyun asked him if he wanted to know why he wanted to meet a villain like him, Han Songdo thought Taehyun should be begging or running away at this point, why was he standing there talking nonsense? It's because I want to steal your skill, as he spoke, Taehyun focused the predatory mana around him, turning the area red. The villain was shocked because he didn't know what this mana with a vicious aura was, so Taehyun had been hiding his strength until now. But he was very confident in his stealth skill so he didn't rate his opponent highly. Haha, ha, you fool, I don't know what this skill is, but you think you can beat me while you can't see me, huh? Taehyun retorted, didn't you just say that every skill has a weakness? I realized this after tearing apart a few monsters, among those monsters, countless ones escaped from my sight. But in the end, the hunting skill devoured them all. Simply put, no matter where you hide or run, the hunt will catch you. Your end is near, Han Songdo. That night, Taehyun ended the villain like that. As for Hyun Su and the A-level monster, who knows how far they are fighting. Just now the sky has brightened, all night only Hyun Su and Taehyun fought with monsters and a hiding villain, no hunter or organization came to support. Hyun Su was exhausted and lay flat on the ground. Damn it, if that villain hadn't ambushed me, I wouldn't be so bad. The righteous hero, the undefeated warrior, even me, Hyun Su, can't underestimate death, I'm going to die here, it's coming again. The monster that had tormented Hyun Su all last night, it was still very strong and fiercely approached the hunter. It will finish him off instantly with a brutal thousand pound punch. Before doing that, as a habit, the monster will roar loudly to show its power to the opponent. But after intimidating, it looked down and saw no enemy, hello. That's because just as the monster was roaring, Taehyun had time to run over and pull Hyun Su out of its sight, he shouted, what the hell, why are you lying flat on the ground, it will trample you to death. That monster is really strong, no wonder a famous A-level hunter like him couldn't kill it. Taehyun thought anyway, doing this is more convenient, let me do it, so he summoned the stream of hunting mana again, this time the A-rank monster will definitely be subdued by him. Finally, everything has been handled, the city no longer has the shadow of a monster, the unfortunate people who were killed by them, and those who were lucky enough to evacuate in time, are also returning home. 
Uncle Taehyung came back late last night, but there was no one in the house, surely the two grandparents were extremely worried about their son and grandchild, so when they heard the two of them coming back, the uncle opened the door and was overjoyed as if he had come back to life. Jae Young smiled with squinted eyes and said, Mom and Dad, I'm back, and Taehyun asked his uncle if everything was okay, but looking back and forth, these two brothers seemed to want to hide something from their uncle, it's true, what happened last night was horrifying. The uncle was so moved that he couldn't speak, tears also started to well up, and he quickly ran to hug the two children. They cried and said, Oh my God, we thought you were taken by the monster, it's been a long time since you came back so we didn't know, but our house is now messy as if someone just destroyed it. Jae Young wanted to hide from his parents what happened last night, when he and the gangsters came to steal money and were punished by his cousin, so he pretended not to know anything, ha ha no, there's nothing, right, Taehyun? The two successfully drummed up the earth-shattering event last night, and temporarily put that aside, now all over the newspapers, news events and social networks are hot news about the crack gate appearing after 10 years. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the government's directive, the warning about the crack gate has now been completely lifted. Based on the potential for a resurgence, the government has ordered the closure of nearby schools for a week. And news about the number of survivors is gradually being announced, the public can breathe a sigh of relief. At this point, those injured in the attack have been taken to the hospital for treatment, including the awakened ones. They were extremely surprised that the monster was not level C but level A. On the other hand, the police also sent people to take statements from those involved in the incident. Some had witnessed the monster attack with their own eyes, but others, like this girl, had no idea. When asked, she innocently said, When I woke up, I found myself here, I don't know anything. But the most pitiful one has to be Hyun Su. He was surrounded by cameras because people thought he had saved the entire city. Dear citizens, I am not the one who defeated the giant ogre, the real hero is someone else. The giant monster has been defeated, however, because its body has not been found yet, and the whereabouts of the villain who attacked the people are still undetermined, so people are very worried that preventive measures to ensure safety may not be effective. Taehyun watched the news up to here and he was relieved, everything is under control. And luckily, no one mentioned him, his identity has not been revealed. Alright, then let's move on to the next phase. Taehyun went alone to a basement crawl space. This place looks quite old and it's unknown what will appear inside, but it will definitely help his leveling. Currently, Taehyun's skills and stats have also changed significantly after defeating the A-level monster and B-level villain last night. The current rank is D, Strength 15, Stamina 20, Speed 15, Mana 40, Weakness 5%, Magic 40 out of 40, Skills include Hunting D requires 10 mana, Stone Skin D requires 3 mana, Stealth D requires 5 mana. Now he has collected 3 skills, but among them, Stealth is a big harvest, it helps Taehyun hide himself to avoid being detected by the enemy. But he also understands that with his current level, it's very difficult to use all 3 skills, because if he uses skills carelessly, he could be drained of mana instantly, and then increase his level of weakness. That could be a dangerous move. So the best preventive measure for this is to use mana potion. The potion is good for restoring mana and vitality, this item is very popular among the awakened ones. However, the potion is quite expensive so Taehyun will have to hunt to earn money. And to hunt, he must have a legal license, and in fact, using skills without permission has already been considered illegal, he has done that a few times. So now there's only one option left. That is to explore the discovered dungeons. This is also why Taehyun appeared alone here today. He sneaked into a dark basement, where there were swarms of giant spiders spinning thick webs. They recognized the smell of humans as soon as Taehyun arrived, why would a human dare to come here, how did you find us, it's been a long time since we spider fairies hunted any delicious prey, so now let's paralyze it and have a grand feast tonight. Taehyun found these spiders quite articulate, they must possess high intelligence, unlike those big-headed monsters with brains like grapes. But their B-level is not high enough to change his rank, so he would have to absorb hundreds of them to possibly level up. Taehyun only muttered this, but the spiders could hear it, and being touched on their pride, they got angry, how dare you say that, you arrogant lowly human, do you know what situation you're in? We're going to eat you alive, let's show him what manners are, so the spider sisters took turns spraying paralyzing gas and spitting webs at the prey in front of them. After a while, seeing Taehyun surrounded in their trap, they laughed triumphantly, ha ha, how do you feel, do you feel your body can't move and is gradually getting numb, see how formidable we are. But Taehyun's body successfully resisted all the adverse effects from the spiders, he didn't feel uncomfortable or numb at all, but even felt refreshed. Just as I thought, you guys have quite useful skills, 
Thanks, you stupid spiders, seeing the prey completely unaffected by their most powerful move, the spider sisters panicked and ran away. Hey, wait, you're running away already? Taehyun chased after them. The two sides fought fiercely in the basement, the spider sisters were very numerous but because their move was neutralized, of course, the advantage would lean towards Taehyun. The final result was clear, congratulations, you have successfully hunted, successfully absorbed a new skill, which is paralysis. Switching to another development, this is the headquarters of the new Awakened Players Association of Korea. It is always monitored and strictly guarded. A meeting is taking place among the Awakened Ones, they are discussing the incident at the crack gate, a girl with short hair, holding a cup of coffee in her hand, and a long-haired man with his hair tied up at the back. They are the two best Awakened Ones of the New Players Association of Korea, the man with the tied hair is the Deputy Director of Human Resources, Mr. Go Taiwook. Recognized as a player, an Awakened One who is legally licensed to use his skills for things like exploring the abyss, or eliminating dungeons and so on. Currently, there are five strongest players in Korea, they mostly hold the balance of power of the Awakened Ones, Awakened Ones everywhere can join various guilds. The largest player guilds in Korea include the four major guilds, with the Prime Warriors. The Artisans, also known as Alchemists, others are Witches, Wizards. Along with those who provide and investigate information, called Night People, they operate within the control of a common organization. And the competent authority that can manage the players including the four major guilds is the New Players Association of Korea. And this meeting with the participation of famous people. The girl in black just spoke, long time no see, chairman, she is the commander of the night people, and is an S-level player, named Yu Ayong. And the middle-aged man with a goatee and one eye covered here is the chairman of the New Players Association of Korea, an S-level player, named Ji Jinhui, he seems quite serious, thank you for coming, I know you're busy, have you found anything yet? The girl asked back, you mean the matter of the Wicked Guild? To explain a bit about this name, the Wicked Guild is a criminal organization established by the most evil criminals among the villains, all members of the guild wear gold rings with three skulls engraved on them. This report is the recent movements of the Wicked Guild, and also the list of players they are targeting. But I guess you didn't call me here just to personally get the report, right? If there's anything, just say it straight, the girl was very straightforward and wanted to get to the main issue. The chairman laughed, haha, you seem quite sharp. I want your opinion on something, hearing this, the girl was quite surprised, my opinion? On what? Mr. Jinhui continued, Ms. Ayong, since when have you been evaluating players? Of course, since I was 19 years old. Is there a problem? Don't tell me, the girl's words seemed suspicious, it seemed like they were both thinking about something. Do you think a high school student can confront a monster? I'm not sure yet, but maybe there's a chance, let's proceed with a new campaign. As for Taehyun, right now, after having exterminated all the giant B-level spiders, Taehyun was calmly sitting on their pile of corpses, collecting loot and making a phone call. Hello, is this one of the four major guilds of alchemists? The thing is, I want to buy mana potion. How much do you guys sell it for? Do I get a discount if I buy a lot? Just like that, seven days had passed, the school closure order had ended, and students were starting to return to class as usual. As for what Taehyun did during those seven days, he had been diligently training physically to increase his physical strength. His cousin Jae Young also followed suit to be like his older brother. In addition, Taehyun also raided some dungeons, exterminating various monsters to earn money and level up. The things he gained a lot from the dungeons after killing monsters were mana stones, he brought them to one of the four major guilds, the alchemists. They really liked these things. Oh my god, so many mana stones, it's amazing, we'll consider you as a super VIP customer, so please trade with us, mana stones are precious because they are the core of monsters, used to create potions, or powerful equipment for awakened ones to use. And more importantly, he had been promoted from D to C, his stats also increased significantly such as strength 30, stamina 32, speed 31, mana 65, weakness 16%, magic 65 out of 65, in addition to the three old skills of hunting, stone skin, and stealth at sea level, the new paralysis skill also reached the same level. All have been upgraded to sea. And the road ahead is still very long, Taehyun doesn't know how much longer it will take to reach S level as expected, thanks to the 7-day school closure order the other day. He had more time to do those things, but now he still has to go to school. Taehyun arrived at class early and sat in the corner, looking out the window and thinking about his awakened career path, then his friends also came in. Hey Taehyun, I heard that you defeated Hyuksu's gang, did you awaken? We haven't seen you for a few days off school so we couldn't ask you for details, what's going on? 
Guys, I don't know what happened between him and Hyuksu that day, but I'm sure he's in big trouble, even though his friend said so, Taehyun still remained calm and even asked back, why would I be in trouble? Despite what his friend said, Taehyun remained calm and even asked back, what trouble? Clearly, he didn't know that the situation had escalated seriously. Today, he would definitely get a beating. At this moment, he heard footsteps approaching from outside, not of one person, but at least three people, each step was heavy, as if they were very angry. Taehyun turned to see who it was. As soon as he mentioned it, they arrived, and one of the three even kicked and broke a few chairs and desks in the classroom, clearly they came here to cause trouble. Their bullying look was quite cool, huh? They were quite well dressed on top with shirts and ties. But the bottom was a bit off, who would wear socks with flip-flops? But their appearance is not important, the problem here is that Lee Young jae will never let this go. He is the one sitting in the middle, both hands in his pockets, and even greeted Taehyun as if they were close, long time no see, old friend. Speaking of this guy, he also has quite a background, he is an S-rank awakened, the third generation of the Taesan Corporation, the corporation that sponsors Taesan High School. He is also the boss of the bullies at Taesan High School. Those who cause trouble, bully their friends all rely on Lee Young jae to swagger. In addition, this guy is also the one behind all the troubles at school when Taehyun was still studying. He is the main culprit, the one who ordered Hyuksu to bully Taehyun before awakening. Just thinking about it and looking at his hateful face, Taehyun couldn't stand it anymore. Before, because he hadn't awakened, he was bullied by them, beaten day after day. Now is the time to get both principal and interest back. Taehyun stood up, kicked the table, who is your friend? Shut your dog mouth up. One of his underlings got angry and yelled, You dog, do you know who you're talking to? But before he could finish his sentence to vent his anger for his boss, he was punched in the face by his boss, for being noisy, the boss hadn't spoken yet and he dared to raise his voice. Don't you see I'm talking to my friend? After hitting his underling, Lee Young Jae turned to continue talking to Taehyun. Hey, you scum. I'm sure you're feeling smug after beating that idiot Hyuksu. However, you should open your eyes and look carefully. See who you're standing in front of, huh? For someone like you, I just need to flick my finger, and you're done for, son. He threatened and displayed his terrifying energy. Taehyun stared at him, wow, is this the power of an S-rank awakened? It's quite impressive. Thinking Taehyun would be scared of his formidable power, he told him, you should know to obey when I'm still being lenient. But he didn't know that Taehyun was very excited and curious about what would happen if an S-rank awakened like him met a predator. This was a good opportunity for Taehyun to test the strength of his hunting skill. He started to raise his hand and intended to attack Lee Young Jae. However, a girl suddenly appeared and told Lee Young Jae to stop, don't bully here. What a pity, Taehyun thought he was about to have a good fight, but she ran over and stopped him, that hurt. Moreover, the girl even turned to scold Taehyun as well, you too, that's enough. Will you stop if I tell you to? It's so annoying, he didn't even get to do anything. But wait, who is this girl who dares to confront an S-rank master like Lee Young Jae? She is Lim ah Young, the class president, she is a rich heiress, the older sister of Ayong, an S-rank awakened, a model student, future top of the class, the daughter of a noble family, and predicted to be an SS-rank player in the future. She has countless titles, and it's predicted that she will achieve even more. The only problem is that she's very stubborn and not easy to yield, no matter who it is. Lee Young Jae sneered, what do you mean by stop? People will misunderstand. I didn't do anything to him. I just came here to chat with my friend for a bit, why so tense? Friend, huh? You came to chat and brought two more people? Then what about punching him in the face? Don't tell me that was just a little tease. Don't pretend to be good here, everyone knows your bullying habits. Hey Ah Young, watch out for that bastard, understand? I will use force if you don't leave, shut up and disappear immediately, the class president also started to get angry and bristled with power to confront him. Taehyun sat watching them and felt worried, it's the two of them who need to stop, if this continues, the classroom will be destroyed in a moment. At this moment, it's like four eyes looking at each other, knives and bombs are ready. No one is willing to yield, one side comes to warn, one side tries to protect friends. But surprisingly, Lee Young Jae flicked his hand, turned his back pretending to leave and even said, alright, let's stop here. I have no intention of fighting in this classroom. However, you think that's what I'm going to say? Dream on. He just distracted, gathered strength like a glowing red fireball and suddenly threw it at Ah Young. The girl also intended to counter and explode a fight in this class. But luckily, the bell rang, drawing the attention of all three. The loudspeaker broadcasted an announcement from the school's communication club. 
Attention students, a special class will be organized by the Players Association and will take place in the main hall in a few minutes, so all students gather immediately in the main hall. Please note again. A special class will be organized by the Players Association. Hearing the title of the Players Association, Lee Yong Jae also stopped. He listened carefully to the rest of the announcement and decided not to fight anymore. Ah Hyung was still in a high alert position, if he made any suspicious moves, she would rush over immediately. But it seems that the arrogant guy had shifted his attention to something else, he smirked and left. Consider yourselves lucky today. I'll settle the score another time. Finally, he agreed to leave, luckily there was no fight to make a big deal. The girl turned to ask Taehyun if he was okay, you don't need to thank me. But just a moment ago, Taehyun had disappeared. It turns out he had quickly gone outside the door. Hey, what are you doing standing there, didn't you hear the announcement that all students gather in the main hall? I'll go ahead. Ahyung didn't understand her friend at all, it's really hard to understand, clearly she just saved him. Could it be that he's always like this? It's really annoying. A while later, all the students of the school had gathered in the main hall. Everyone was curious and chatting with each other while waiting, a special class organized by the Players Association, huh? What are they going to teach? Could it be because of the recent crack situation? At this moment, a person appeared on stage, he tested the microphone and began to speak, Hello everyone, my name is Taiwook, on behalf of the management of the Korean Players Association. Today I am here for two reasons, one is to apologize to you for the delay of the association in dealing with the crack to ensure everyone's safety. And the second issue is that I want to announce the changes coming to the players among you, those who hold the future of the association in their hands. While everyone was paying attention to Taiwook's lecture, there were three exceptions, Lee Yong jae was still upset about not being able to deal with that dirtbag Taehyun, it's so annoying. And Lee Yong jaes classmate kept mumbling that she definitely had to talk to him after this. While the main character was yawning, bored with these long-winded speeches. After a while, we finally got to the main point. The whole school was buzzing. A player's test, what does that have to do with us? Isn't it that you have to be 19 to qualify? So our grade can't participate this year, why are we forced to listen? Seeing the crowd discussing the under-19 issue, Taiwook explained further. You might think so, but of course, I'm here to announce that this will involve you from now on. Due to the recent gate outbreak and the sudden increase in the number of monsters in the dungeon, the Awakeners Association realized that we are seriously short of manpower, so through these tests, we will start recruiting candidates, including high school students. The crowd below erupted, high school students, us? Some were surprised, some were delighted. High school student candidates will be selected based on factors such as skills, evaluation scores, academic scores, and attitude. Everyone trusted the words of the deputy director of human resources of the association, but Taehyun knew very well that this was a lie. These selections are indeed open to all high school students, but the selection process has been underway for a while now. Through Taewook skills, he can target promising individuals in the crowd below. That's the skill of the observer. In his eyes, the numbers appearing above each student's head are the keys to selection. The observer can observe the overall strength of the objects it sees. If it focuses more, it can also observe the stat window of the objects. While pausing for students to discuss and ask questions, Taiwook observed each person. Different numbers appeared. He was sure that here, the number of selections was much better than other places. They could become good players. But the most surprising of them were these two kids. One is a male student with a total energy strength of 1924. The other is a female student on the other side, with an overwhelming number, reaching 2335. Previously, at the request of the chairman, the personnel department did send me a list of promising candidates, but who would have thought there were so many potential awakeners who hadn't been trained yet? I'll go back and write a nomination for the association right away. Interrupting the thoughts of Deputy Director Taiwook, the arrogant Lee Yong Jae raised his hand to say something. Yes, Mr. Awakener. You said you came here to announce to us about the player selection test, but aren't there still people here who are not suitable for this selection? What I mean is that this test is only suitable for some people who have the potential to become players among those who have awakened like me, right? Or to put it more simply, I don't think those who haven't awakened should stand here and listen to these harsh words. You also know that strength is not the only thing that makes a strong player. It's also the level of awakening, the ability to handle situations, or extensive knowledge of the abyss. To become a player, you must achieve complex skills at a certain level. But in the end, those stats can only be achieved by those who have awakened. As for those who haven't awakened, it's like rubbing salt into a wound, they don't have anything for you to base your evaluation on. 
At this point, everyone followed Li Yong Jae and laughed loudly, looking at Taehyun and the unawakened students and mocking them. At a glance, Taehyun could tell the intentions of that arrogant guy. He deliberately beat around the bush, and in the end, he targeted Taehyun, mainly wanting to know if he had awakened yet. Ha, huh, if you've awakened, prove it, you fool. Seeing the injustice, class president Ahyung stepped in for her friend. She angrily turned around and reminded that rude jerk to shut up. But looking at Taehyun's attitude, did it seem like he was expecting help? What are you doing? I didn't ask for your help. Hearing Taehyun say that, she didn't want to step in anymore. Fine, I don't care anymore. If you get bullied, bear with it. Annoying. Not stopping there, Lee Young Jae continued, I hope you will expel those unawakened jerks as soon as possible. This is not a place for cowards like them. Mr. Taewook reluctantly replied, I understand your point, but whether to participate or not is up to you. We should not discriminate. The arrogant ones laughed loudly and mocked, Ha ha Taehyun, aren't you ashamed yet? How can someone like you be a candidate here? Get lost quickly. Or you don't have the ability so you don't care about this awakener test. You're just here to listen for fun, right? Even though he was ridiculed by that guy, Taehyun didn't show any attitude, but just thought to himself, does that jerk think I'm useless? Indeed, if I can't prove that I'm an awakened person, even in my dreams, I can't enter the selection of this association. But to be nominated, there's no need to expose my real strength, there's another way. Witnessing the words and attitudes of all three people in this matter, Mr. Taewook also had his own views and evaluations. Lee Young Jae, that brat is an S-level player but bullies others, truly despicable. What did he say, who is Taehyun, why does he pay attention to this relatively unknown unawakened person? Or is it simply because he is jealous of something of that guy? Let me see the potential of that brat. He began to pay attention to Taehyun and used his observer skill to investigate, but strangely, the result he got was unverifiable information. At this point, Taehyun had another plan. He followed the words of the bully and admitted his incompetence in front of everyone's astonishment and admiration, you're right, I really don't know how to think. How can an unawakened person like me dare to participate in this selection? I'm just here to get in your way. So I'll leave on my own. As for talented people like you, stay here to attend this wonderful training session, good luck. Lee Young Jae provoked others, but in the end, he was furious when they didn't resist and withdrew like a real man. He felt both furious and didn't understand why Taehyun could be so calm. The one being teased is not embarrassed, but the one teasing is completely embarrassed. The deputy director standing on the stage was confused when his observer skill didn't work on that brat. But even the chairman and Ayong couldn't recognize his potential, that's the key point. This has never happened before, because no one can pass the eyes of the top three people in the association. But with this brat, that skill becomes useless. No, I can't just let that brat go, he must be someone special. Taiwook tried to open his observer's eye wide, focusing to the maximum, but the result was still the same, the information could not be verified. Even after trying more than 20 times, the result was the same. Oh my, I can't believe it, I'm so frustrated. Although Taehyun's extraordinary power has now reached 5096, he chose not to show it and wait for a more suitable opportunity. So, ignoring the fact that he was ridiculed by that nasty guy in front of the crowd, Taehyun left straight away. He went to the school library, hiding there to study a few useful things. While engrossed in reading, the figures of three guys walked in. Phew, I'm tired. I thought I would have peace here to find the information I need. But these nasty guys came to bother me again. What do they want now? Anyway, I didn't find anything useful here, I guess I should go. One of them spoke up, Lee Young Jae is looking for you, come with us quickly. Taehyun wasn't afraid of these bullies, so he said, if I don't go, what will you guys do to me? Talking normally seemed not to scare Taehyun, so the three guys started to threaten, touching his family, I think your aunt owns a restaurant, right? Lee Young Jae has a message for you. You're a pathetic bastard, do you want your aunt to suffer more, hasn't she suffered enough? Being a nephew but not filial at all, poor her. But don't worry, anyway, we will drag you to Lee Young Jae soon. Hearing this, blood rushed to his brain, Taehyun angrily tore the book in his hand. Then he rushed to beat those three jerks until the library looked like a battlefield, all the bookshelves were knocked down. Without guessing, it was clear that the three guys had been beaten up. Two of them were unconscious, and one was being choked and lifted by Taehyun with one hand. He couldn't breathe and begged, but it didn't calm Taehyun's anger. This is the consequence of touching family, if you guys mess with me, I can still let it go, but don't think about messing with my family, I hate this kind of cowardice the most. You jerk, don't make me ask a second time, quickly tell me where that dog is. After the guy confessed the location, Taehyun went to the meeting place alone. 
Sure enough, Li Yongjie was already waiting, and there was another tall guy with him. Surely they had prepared disadvantages for the opponent beforehand. The bald guy raised his hand to check something and said there was something not quite right. He was very powerful, because he was an A-rank player, the bodyguard of young master Li Yongjie, named Seol Hundu. After that kid got here, he cast some debuff skills on him, but they didn't work, with this level of debuff resistance, he must be A-rank. Li Yongjie was excited about this, ha ha, just as predicted, you have awakened. If so, should we have a little talk? He ignored whether Taehyun wanted to talk or not. Ha, my words may seem a bit rude, but I don't intend to hit you, in fact, I even want to recruit you to work under me, you see how lucky you are. I intend to set up a guild after graduation under the name of the heir to the Taesan group, but even if I'm a genius, I can't do everything by myself. You understand me, right? With talented people, not like that idiot Hyuksu, but truly talented people. Like you right now, Taehyun. So, you should forget your grudges and come work for me. You will have both wealth and fame, I will make your family rich. Playing with me, you will also enjoy this reputation, no one will dare to touch you anymore. Do you see how good I am to you? Come here with me. Regardless of Lee Young Jae's crazy talk, he still stood with open arms waiting for Taehyun's submission, but he splashed cold water in his face and said you're talking nonsense too much, it's giving me a headache. Recruitment, wealth, and fame, huh? I despise it. Lee Young Jae, you've crossed my patience limit. As Taehyun spoke, he turned his arm into stone to prepare for a fight with that arrogant jerk. Persuasion failed, Li Yong Jae turned his face. He exhaled and said, Well, that's right. Just as I thought, a stray dog needs to be disciplined to obey. And then he was ready to fight a life and death battle with that ignorant brat. Seeing the boss getting worked up, Hundu quickly created something to start the fight. It was a boundary, a skill that covers space with magic, people outside cannot perceive the magic inside it. The thickness of the boundary and its endurance depend on the power and rank of the creator. He stood up, dusted off his hands, looking satisfied, with this, no one can interfere with the boss's fight. Now, enjoy the fight, wish the boss a thrilling fight, and I will stand here and watch. Inside the boundary, Taehyun took the initiative to attack first, he used a stone fist with enhanced strength. While Li Yong Jae used a fireball technique to burn everything. What happens when fire meets stone? A huge energy ball was created. From the beginning, the advantage seemed to lean heavily towards Li Yong Jae. His energy burned each stone on Taehyun's skin and shattered them, even though it was just a long-range attack. The flashing fire attacks made Taehyun exhausted. In no time, the stone armor could no longer withstand. Each powerful punch from an S-rank player like Lee Young Jae could burn everything and knock down any lower-ranked opponent in one move. Taehyun started to vomit blood. Lee Young Jae took advantage of the victory, he approached the target and laughed in the face of the loser, Ha ha, have you realized the gap in our ranks yet, you fool? Outside, where old guard Hundu was standing, he only saw the boss's relentless techniques and no signs of resistance from Taehyun. He also felt sorry for that kid Taehyun, he felt sorry for him. He has a high-level body enhancement skill, and is an A-rank awakener with combat skills and willpower far beyond other students, I'm sure no students in this school can be his opponent. But unfortunately today his opponent is a genius. Young master Lee Young Jae is a genius player among the few people I've met, that kid is bound to have a tragic end. Fighting with an S-rank person like that, it's clear that winning is impossible. Taehyun, you can't win this fight, you better give up and surrender, the more you resist, the more you will get hurt. But just as old guard Hundu felt sorry for student Taehyun, he was shocked to witness the unthinkable. No way, this can't possibly happen. Clearly, I saw him exhausted and about to lose. But how could he counterattack so quickly? Each counterattack seemed to explode all his strength, forcing the young master to retreat and panic. This speed cannot be underestimated, and there is something very special in each of his punches. What is it? I can't figure it out. A moment later, Taehyun completely reversed the situation and knocked down the jerk Lee Young Jae. Old Hundu was anxious, wanting to jump in to see clearly. What, impossible, is the boss losing in a one-on-one -on -one fight with an A-rank person? His boss is lying flat on the floor, but his mouth is still yelling loudly, how could you do this? Taehyun, you bastard, what did you do to my body? I can't move. Hundu was confused, why can't the boss move? Wasn't it initially determined that body enhancement was the only skill he had? Now another skill has emerged, what kind of monster is he? Taehyun felt very refreshed, haha finally it worked, I guessed right. I have gained a total of three other skills from using the hunting skill, which are stone skin, stealth, and paralysis. But from the beginning of the match, I did not use all of those skills. Because C-rank paralysis will hardly be able to overcome his S-rank resistance. 
Stealth cannot be used when being attacked from a distance. Hunting is the last resort and should not be used so blatantly. So my goal is to wait for the right opportunity to use paralysis when fighting in close combat, luring the enemy to attack at close range. Skills that cause effects will work better when in direct contact with the target than when attacking from a distance. So with the amount of damage along with the paralysis effect caused continuously with each punch like just now, even if it is S-rank resistance, it cannot be immune. At this point, Li Yong Jae activated the resistance skill continuously but was overwhelmed by paralysis many times and finally failed to resist paralysis. This is the first time old Hundu saw the boss paralyzed in front of an opponent who was judged to be a gap in rank. He must be shocked, because initially, he could not see all of Taehyun's skills. Witnessing the match and sweating, he is also a genius, in a one-on-one -on -one battle he even surpasses the boss. But there's no way the boss would easily admit defeat like that. Lee Yung Jae finally admitted Taehyun's strength, you're pretty good. I guess I underestimated you, if not for that, I couldn't possibly lose to a loser like you. So from now on, we should fight seriously. Lee Yung Jae took out a purple stone, he crushed the stone into many small pieces. The eerie energy emitted made Taehyun so scared that he froze. Surely that strange stone was what created the monster standing behind Lee Yung Jae's soul, it looks very scary. Lee Yung Jae completely resisted Taehyun's paralysis skill and stood up to prepare for the second round after summoning the mysterious skull.